when I started the business. And when I started this training specifically, I grew my list tremendously. And that's where I really saw a big push in my business. So since I'm actually run and I'm doing all my lists brand new again too, because you run out of space in your notebooks, you'll fill these up. And so I'm actually starting again. I have notebooks everywhere, guys. <laughs> so, um, but I'm gonna show you how to use them, what to do with them, and how to take like a list of 100 and make it like a list of 2,000, okay? And rather me create new slides and everything, I'm actually gonna show you the 20 minute video that I learned from here in a minute um, because it works and why recreate, recreate stuff when, you know, everything is, it, we love the fact that everything can be duplicatable, right? Because we're, we're all moms here and we're busy. So, <laughs> all right, so four highlighters, okay? So whatever colors, um, green, blue, yellow, orange, that's what I'm using. So I just want you to write this down first before we do the video. Your green is your chicken list, okay? You're gonna highlight everybody's names that is your chicken list that you are absolutely terrified to talk to, okay? Your blue is going to be friends on Facebook who have a thousand or more friends on their Facebook, okay? Does that make sense? They have a thousand or more friends. Your yellow is going to be your business owners or people you know that are making money and killing it, okay? And your orange is your duds. Why? Because every dud will lead you to a stud. <laughs> okay, so your four notebooks. One is your leads, okay? A lead is every single person you meet, right? Every single person. I don't care if you're at the grocery store, you're picking the kids up from church or school, from church, anybody that you come into contact and you have conversations with, that is a lead and is going to go into your master list. One of these notebooks is going to be the one that you take everywhere you go. I'm not saying you have to like, you know, carry it in the grocery store, but it should be in your car. It should be close by because you run into people on a daily basis and that is your master list. Okay. That's your leads. The next one is your prospects. Prospects are anybody that you've already introduced a product or the coaching opportunity. So basically whoever you've already ATM'd, ad, tagged, message, okay? That's your prospect binder. Your customers is your next binder. Customers, this is big because everybody kind of forgets about your customers. Like you get them plugged in, you, you get them going, they start using the products and then you don't follow up with them and that is a horrible way to run a business because you can actually create so many more leads from your customers if you take care of them, right? So this is your customers. Anybody that's bought um, a program, is in a challenge group, and so on. The next one is your golden book. This is your coaches, guys. This is your team, okay? Mm -hmm. We, I, I'm guilty of this in the beginning, in the first year. You know, I got coaches signed on, whether or not they were discount coaches, working coaches. Everybody comes in so fast that you forget people that you've plugged in. And if you have them all in one place, Hi. you'll know and you'll remember to follow up with them. That's also where teams become in place, whatever contact system you're using. I make lists. So you have your coaches, your customers, your leads, your prospects, okay? So that's going to be the four notebooks. Now I'm going to go ahead and press play on the video. Um, you guys are going to want to take notes, and then after we will um, talk about it if you guys have questions, okay? So I'm going to screen share. Oh. Can you guys meet yourselves? <laughs> I think that's Karen's son. I hear, I hear He's so cute. Baby. All right. Let's see here. It's right here. Sorry, I thought we were muted here. <laughs> He's so cute. No worries, honeys. All right. I'm going to go ahead and press play, so... You're gonna have to meet yourself. <laughs> you you want to say hello? Say hello. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 okay. How do I mute myself? Of course, I had it all set up, and then it has to like take me somewhere else. <clears throat> no, 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 no. That's not what I want. Time is at 106. Okay, yeah, this video goes fast. It's very helpful. You guys will love it. Um, this is Maria Simone. She kicks butt. Um, she is uh, one another network marketing company, obviously with John Nadia Melton. So um, let me scroll down here. Okay, here it is. <clears throat> what is going? 
on my Lifestyle Academy, Marina Simone here. I'm so pumped, no pun intended, to be here with you guys on this a beautiful Thursday. I'm here in South Florida enjoying the sunny weather. I'm just kind of throwing that in for John and Nadia because you know they're in Maryland and it's so freaking cold there all the time. But they're coming to they're coming to Florida anyway this weekend. But I'm excited to be here with you guys. I know it was last minute, it was short notice, but I wanted to get this training in. John reached out to me and said, <laughs> You, know, you have this amazing training on how to literally take a list of 100 and turn them into thousands of people. I've seen you do this training before, and I feel like my Lifestyle Academy can really use some of this training, especially with the ATM challenge that is coming up and that is starting next month. Well, I just kicked you guys. So as you jump on, let me know what the weather is like. Like, what is the degrees? So right now down here, I believe it's like 89 degrees. And I'm loving it. I'm so excited for summer. So just drop in the degrees of where you are right now. And let's get this party started because I have my slides right here. And I'm literally going to be going over one of my paid trainings for you guys. Like I'm just going to give it to you. I'm going to give it to you raw and real. And I'm going to make sure that when you come out of this training, you are going to have doubled or even tripled your master list. Well, first and foremost, let me tell you, for those of you that don't know who I am, Marina Simone, I am a mom. I am a lifestyle entrepreneur. I've been in the industry of network marketing since 2012. I miserably failed in my business for two years and made no money. And it wasn't until 2014 when I found success, became a multiple six-figure earner. And a lot of that had to do with my list. So I'm really excited that I'm able to share the things that I've learned, what works for me, and how you can expand that list. But I'm gonna ask you guys a question first and foremost. How many of you have a notebook or a master list? Okay, if you have one, just drop one below. If you don't, drop a two below. If you have a master list, and there's no judgment here, because I'll tell you, before I learned the things I'm gonna teach you, I didn't have a master list. I thought everything could be in my head or notes on my phone. And what I realized was, is I was hurting myself. So drop a one if you have a master list and drop a two if you do not. I can't see the comments for some reason, but I'm sure you guys are commenting. I don't know what's going on. Sometimes that just happens, right? Okay, so what I want you guys to understand is your net work is your net worth. I'm sure you've heard this before. And I'm sure a lot of you are like sick of hearing it, but I'm gonna give you another angle to think about. Your list equals your bank account. Literally, your list equals your bank account. So before I get into this training, if you feel like there's people that are on your team in this group that need to see it, if you hit that share button, you can invite people that you've brought into this group to watch this training because it's not gonna be up for long. I can promise you that. So you want to make sure that you get your people on this or go back and tag them at the end. So your list equals your bank account. I want you to think about depositing, right? If you don't deposit into your account, you don't have any money. I want you to deposit daily onto this list. That's first and foremost. So what do I mean by that? Adding new friends on Facebook, maybe if you're out at a party and you meet new people, you're writing their names down on your master list, okay? You're gonna withdraw daily from this list. What do I mean by that? Well, these are your leads. You're gonna move them into another notebook, which is people that you've exposed or people you have ATN'd, people that have seen the opportunity. These are prospects. These are your leads, your master list. These are your prospects, right? So you wanna withdraw daily because that shows that you're doing presentations, right? This shows that you're actually working your business. You have income producing activities. So I'm really excited about this ATM challenge. We've got our whole team that's doing it. And the reason is because it gives them something to work towards. And I know that the last time we did it, it changed our business. So there's two golden rules that I want you to never break when you're building your list. Never prejudge. I'm not saying you're gonna call or cold message all the people that are on this list. But in order for you to expand it to the next level, in order for you to expand your list and get it to 2,000 or plus people, you guys, I have 10,000 people on my master list. This is just one notebook, okay? 10,000 people, yeah, kind of like a game. 
But if you're prejudging and not adding people on there, what happens if that person could have led you to a rock star? So here's an example. Let's say somebody didn't put my mother-in-law on their list. I want you to think about this for a second. My mother-in-law wasn't on their list. Let's pretend I'm not in network marketing, never done it before, but I'm an entrepreneur. I want to make money. I'm looking for something, right? So somebody didn't put Bonnie on their list. That's my mother-in-law. Can you imagine if they would have did this exercise, it would have taken from Bonnie to Jason, which is her son, which is my husband, to me. Working through people and having a master list is key and important. So no prejudging. And no one will ever come off this list. Never. Not saying you're going to call these people. If they say, don't ever contact me again, of course, then you're not going to contact them. But when you think about one person, that can lead you to another 30 or 40. And those 30 or 40 could lead you to another 30 or 40. You're getting my drift on how we're going to expand. I have six rules that you're going to follow with that. So here's what you need for this exercise. Four notebooks. They don't have to be expensive. 99 cents at Walmart, Target, whatever. I just use these because I like how they bend. I carry my master list with me everywhere I go. Because if I meet new people, guess what happens? They end up on my master list, okay? So you need four notebooks. One is going to be your master lead list. The next notebook is going to be for prospects. These are for people that you have introduced to your business or your product. Then I have another notebook for customers, anybody that purchases the product. Then I have another notebook for anybody that joins my team because I want to keep track of them as well. And if you enroll a lot of people, you want to make sure you stay on top of your people. So I have four notebooks, right? First and foremost, I need you to get four highlighters. Don't freak out when I go through what you're gonna do with those four highlighters, okay? So four notebooks, your favorite playlist, okay? I want your favorite playlist, like Cardi B is my jam. So I put her on once a week to do this exercise. Once a week, I do this exercise. If I forget, I just make sure I get it done at least twice a month, okay? Because you always, remember your network is your net worth, your list is your bank account. If you do not expand this list, your, your check, where your income is not going to expand. You get your favorite playlist together, 20 minutes long. So we already went over what those notebooks are for. So you're also going to make lists on Facebook of your master lead list and of your prospect list and of your customers and of your team. Let me tell you why. On social media, which is a whole other training, we like to make that eye contact. We want to draw people back to our Facebook page. We want to stay in their face. So if you have a list on Facebook, I'm not going to train on that. You could literally Google how to make a list on Facebook, or I'm sure Nadia has something in this group, right? You want to make sure that you, before you start scrolling and gaining miles on your thumb, that you can go straight to that list and you can go straight to your master lead list. And this way you can comment on their things and stay up to date with what they're doing in their life. Okay. So in this exercise, when you, you're going to set a timer for 20 minutes. And what you're going to do is you're going to get down 200 names, as close as you can to 200 names. Use a memory jogger, right? You can Google memory jogger, okay? And with that memory jogger, think of your accountant, think of your spouse's friends, your friends, people you went to high school with, people you work with, kids, moms, or dads that maybe you're in school with your kids. Like just sit down, get a memory jogger, and get as many names as you can. I'm not talking about Facebook yet. We're not going through your Facebook friends list because you probably don't know 75% of your friends on Facebook. Okay. So we're not even going there yet. If you wrote down your friends on Facebook, I'm pretty sure most of you would have 300 names like this, but I want you to do it without the Facebook friends first. Okay. And I want you to remember something. The average person, the average person by the age of 21 has 200 connections that they've made. So I'm pretty sure that at 33 years old, I've made probably 10 times that as far as connections. So if you think in your mind, I don't know 200 people, you're right, but you're wrong. Because studies show that the average person by the age of 21 has met 200 people. The average person on Facebook has 338 friends. So I want you guys to understand that there's no excuses with this exercise, okay? 
So I want you to grab those highlighters and here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a subcategory of that master list. So after 20 minutes, you're getting those 200 names down. If you want to do more, do more, but get however many you can get down in 20 minutes. And then we're going to have highlighters, blue, green, yellow, orange. It could be whatever colors you want. But the first place that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the people on my list that are my chicken list. Who am I scared of talking to? Don't be a chicken shit. I'm sorry to curse, but I just want you to understand something. I was a chicken shit three years ago, and I would not reach out to my chicken list. And somebody that was on that chicken list is now a top income earner in another company. I thought, and I prejudged, that she would not want anything to do with this. I was like, she will never join my business. And now she's a top income earner in another company. So think about that for a second. I want you to take your yellow highlighter and highlight everybody on your list that is that scares the crap out of you. Like who makes you nervous? Who scares the crap out of you? I want you to highlight them with yellow. Then I want you to go back with your blue highlighter and I want you to say, okay, who has a thousand friends or more on Facebook? You're gonna highlight them in blue. These are your influencers. Green. You're going to go back and highlight your business owners who owns a business, who makes more money than me, who knows what they're doing in the entrepreneurial world. Maybe somebody who's already in network marketing, highlight them green home based business. Maybe they make their own products, highlight them in green. That means money. They know how to make money. Okay. And the last is orange. Please don't take offense by this, please. Every dud knows a stud. That is something that John Melton taught me a while ago. Every dud knows a stud. So I'm sure there's gonna be people on your list that you are prejudging. And most of the time it ends up being our family members. But a dud can lead you to a stud with my six rule method. So I want you to highlight them in orange, okay? So let's move to rule number one. Are you guys getting value? Draw me a high heel if you guys are like, woo, this is fire. Let me break this up on my other phone because I don't like that I'm not seeing comments. It's driving me bonkers that I'm not seeing it. I just got to tell you guys right now. Got to love Facebook groups, right? Here we are. Okay, now I can see. Now I can see your comments. Awesome. What up? Okay, every dad knows a stud. Absolutely, Michelle. Thanks, Alyssa, for the high heel. So drop a high heel if you're getting some value from this. So now we're going to move on to rule number one. Okay, remember there's six rules to expanding your list. Rule number one is my BSMD rule. What the? Weirdest acronym ever. I don't even think it's a real acronym, to be honest with you. But I just used it because it's easy for me to remember. I'm now going to go to my master list of all those names that I wrote down, and I'm going to start expanding them. So I'm going to go to Marina, which is me, right? Pretend I'm on your list. Don't put me on your list. But pretend I'm on your list, okay? I'm going to say, who's BSMD with Marina? Who's Marina's brother? Who's her boyfriend? Who's her sister? Who's her mother? Who's her daughter? Who's her dad? I'm going to go to every single name that's on that list, and I'm going to do this exercise until I can't do it anymore. So let's say you knew my brother, my boyfriend, my sister, my mother, my dad, or my daughter, right? You knew who they were. You would write their names down. You're going to go back to those five names, and you're going to expand. Okay, so you knew my brother, my brother Garrett. Do you know if he has another brother? Does he have any other sisters? Who's his mom? Does he have a daughter? Who's his dad? This is going to expand your list and expand your mind, okay? So that's rule number one. You're going to keep going with rule number one on all those names until you can't go any further. Then what I do is, is I go and I see, am I friends with them on Facebook? Have I connected with them before? I'm going to go and look and search for them. And I'm going to add them as a friend if I'm not already a friend with them. And I'm going to add them to my master lead list. See where this is going? Okay. Rule number two is the spouse partner rule. So now I'm going to go back to all those names. And I'm going to find who's their spouse, who's their partner, who's their ex-spouse, who's their ex-partner. I'm going to go and start writing those names down. And I'm going to go back to rule number one and try to expand even more. Is this making sense? Let me get some yeses in the comments because now I get to see your comments. Let me see if this is making sense to you. Okay, good, good. So you're gonna go back to rule number one 
and expand again. And you're going to go back to rule number two. You will not move on to rule number three until you can't move any longer with rule number one and rule number two. You see how you're never going to run out of people to talk to by doing this? You're never going to run out of leads. You're never going to have that, oh my gosh, I have no one to talk to feeling ever again. It's just going to be getting over the fear of talking to the people. But you're going to have a freaking master list of close to 2,000 plus people by the time we're done with this exercise. I can promise you. Okay? So let's go to rule number three. Rule number three now is your mutual friends list. Remember, you want to make sure you're friends with all these people on Facebook. This has helped me remember people that I forgot about. So when I go to the mutual friends list of all the people on our list, it gives me new names. It gives me new people. And what do I do, you guys? I go back to rule number one and rule number two. And again. Yes, this is this simple. I know you guys are like, this is mind blowing. Like you do this every week? Uh, yeah, because my list equals my bank account. And if I don't have new people to talk to, every single day, an ATM, new people every single day, my bank account ain't gonna grow and neither is my team, neither is my customer base. Is it making sense? You're so welcome, Amanda. Oh, I love that you guys love this, making me happy. Okay, rule number four, get to your chicken list. I need you to get through it, get no's from them. Hurry up. Get through your chicken list and get some no's so you don't have that anxiety. And here's the other thing. So you're not holding on to only if John Milton would join my team. Only if Nadia would join my team. You haven't even asked. I'm not saying go ask them. I'm giving you an example of a chicken list person, okay? My point is, is that you don't know. Before you go to your chicken list, I want you to remember my story of someone that I prejudged and I was too scared to reach out to is now a top income earner in another company. That's scary, okay? That's scary. Rule number five, you deposit every single day into this notebook, which means if you add a new friend on Facebook, they go onto your master lead list. And there's somebody that you would want them to be in your business, they're going on your master list. Okay, so you need to deposit every day. Here's my goal. If I am out and about, I find one person to add as a friend on Facebook. Yes, sometimes it's the people at the grocery store. Sometimes it's the lady selling me shoes. You know what I mean? Especially if I'm buying red bottoms. I'm definitely gonna be adding them as a friend. They need to know how I'm able to buy those red bottoms, right? Um, maybe it's at a car wash. Maybe it's at the mall. Somebody who's selling me something. I go shopping a lot. Maybe you can tell. Maybe it's at a fundraiser or it's at my daughter's school, wherever it is. I just had a poker tournament that we went to where we were raising money for um, a friend of our son's baseball team because it was literally $1,600 a kid for this tournament. It drives me crazy that it's that much money. But so we were raising money. At the poker tournament, there were 70 people. You better believe I was looking for ways to connect and adding new friends on Facebook. I added six new friends at that poker tournament, the men's wives. Six new friends who now are following me on Facebook, who now are seeing what I do, and three of them have already asked me, do I make money online? And I'm like, yeah. Are you open to taking a look? That's simple, you guys. Don't overthink this, okay? So that's my goal, number one. My goal number two is to friend request 10 new people a day on Facebook. Yes, do I friend request random people? Yep, but I just have a posture of a queen, of a boss, and I know that they should be friends with me because I'm going to impact their life somehow, some way, someday, okay? Number three, go back through rule number one through three after adding new people to your list once a week. Once a week. If you guys are like, wow, this is a lot of work, you're not in it to win it. This business is work. You need to treat this list like you invested a million dollars into this business. You need to treat this list as your baby. This goes with me everywhere. And this, you guys, is not only the only one I have. This is just the newest one I started. This list is my life. It is my bank account. It needs to be yours, okay? So let's get to the next, rule six. This is the final rule, okay? I withdraw from my lead, um, from my list, every single day. So my goal, I want you to pick your own goals, I'm telling you mine. My goal is to take 20 people a day from my master list and ATM them. 
20 people a day is my goal to withdraw. Remember, it's a bank account. You got to deposit, but you got to withdraw, right? You want to go shopping. You got to withdraw from that list, right? So if you're withdrawing from the list, what are you doing with the people? You're going to take them from your lead list and put them into your prospect book because you've ATM'd them, right? ATMing is just the easiest way for me to build this business on the go. I'm a mom. I'm busy. I have another business. Just what I got to do, right? I got my brand. I've got my, my honey's businesses, right? So building and ATMing is it's just amazing. I just have to make that perfectly clear for you guys, right? So my goal is 20 names a day from this book to withdraw and put into my prospect book. My goal weekly is to withdraw from my prospect book into my customer book weekly, five. That's my goal. I want to withdraw from my prospects and get five new customers a week at least. My goal monthly is to take six people from the master lead or the prospect or the customers a month and turn them into business partners. So if you can kind of visualize this, if you can kind of play a little game with yourself with notebooks, the income producing activities are going to come because this is visually helping you take somebody from one book to another. And if you're doing that, you have income producing activities that are happening, okay? So that is rule number six. So watch how fast your list will grow. You'll never run out of people to talk to. And here's what I wanna suggest for all of you. I have my team on board for the ATM challenge. If somebody could drop, oh wait, I have my phone. So I'm gonna drop in the links, my lifestyleacademy.com. Okay, so let's see, blah, blah, blah. Let me stop screen share, okay. That's the end of the training. So do you guys have questions on what she went over at all? You guys can unmute yourselves really quick. We'll stay on for like three more minutes if that's cool. You guys want to unmute anybody? I see babies on, yay. So seriously, like, you know, when um, I was saying my goal, 20, ATMing 20 people into our real results group, in the beginning, you know, you probably think, oh my gosh, that's a lot of people. But you guys, I break it down. I do five in the morning, right? I mean, Julie and I were talking about this on Coach Life Unplugged. That early morning, we get up. I, I plug in five people then. I plug in five people after I bring my kids home. I'm plugging in five when I'm sitting there at the park, picking them up from school, and then I'll plug in another five, right? You don't have to do all 20 at once. <laughs> But get those 20 in and that's just my goal because they're I'm going with their the, the, their high numbers and I'm trying to, to match their bank accounts. So um, that's where I'm at. Um, I also if you guys can go in the real results group because I'm, I'm kind of following how their group is going. Um, going in there and just commenting and being like human beings saying hey. You could even say, hey, I just ordered my to be mindset package. I'm so pumped to get this started, right? Or, hey, I just had a new recipe of Shakeology. I absolutely love it. And share that recipe really quick. Or, um, I just got on the scale and I'm down two more pounds. Like, I don't care what you guys say, but make this group, allow these people to see what's going on, right? And, and they'll feel that excitement too. Um, also, when she said that she, you know, she adds people all over the place. I'm going to tell you really quick. When I was on vac on our on our success or success club trip, I added like six new people. I'm going to give you guys an idea. The Uber driver was one of them <laughs> from the airport. I met a girl in the airport sitting there with my husband. That was another one I added on Facebook. The lady that gave us a ride on our pirate ship that was checking us in. I added her on Facebook. Um, I haven't written down. I we, we had to charge our phones at a charging station because our phones went dead. I, we had to sit there and talk to this guy for like 30 minutes. And you bet I added him on Facebook. So now I've added six people that were like through Mexico, uh, you know, all over that I went on vacation and I've expanded my network. So always think about that. When you're making these connections, think about expanding. Um, I hope this guys, I hope this helped you today. Um, it's super exciting. This ATM system, I think is going to obviously just going to rock for us. Um, any questions? Any more questions? Julia, yes. I have one. I know yes. a lot of people get really nervous of getting them from that, oh, they're added to my network, to getting them into that ATM system. So do you have any tips or suggestions on like, <laughs> you know, when you've added them to your list, do you just shoot them and like, are you just shooting them a message with an invite to, you know, that group. 
So I think it, it, it kind of goes different ways at times. So I'll, for example, if I've made a post and they've commented, obviously, right, our to be mindset or, or something that I've caught them uh, or caught attention with them, then that gives me an open invitation, right? Obviously. Um, either than that, it's people that I've either invited to my challenge groups in the past, um, anybody that I've kind of connected with. And I think what you, what we need to focus on, especially for new coaches is you have to build trust, right? We all understand that no one's going to do business with us that they don't know, like, and trust us. So before sending that message, if you haven't talked to this person at all and saying, Hey, I'm going to add you to this group, you obviously have to have gone through a couple weeks of getting to know them. Right. And them following you on Facebook and building that trust. And then you can go in and say, Hey, I have, you know, my next challenge group starting, or I have this new launch. I'd love for you to take a look at. Um, and I actually have scripts because they gave me scripts and I gave my team scripts. So I'll send them to you, Julia, and, um, you can play with those. And I, Letitia, did those help you at all? Were you able to look through those at all yet? I haven't had a chance. I think I used okay. one of them. I can't remember which one it was, if it was one of the Boom Squad um, scripts or that one. Okay. That most recent I still one. use Boom Squad. They work for me. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> That's what I want to hear, baby. <laughs> That's what I want to hear. So um, I, it's just building that trust, Julia, I think in the beginning, right? Um, one more quick example. If you, you know, you guys probably saw me do like a, uh, my Facebook live, but uh, sending, signing my baby up for kindergarten, super mm -hmm. simple the other day. Why do I do stuff like that? To build trust, to let people see the inside of my life, to let them know that I'm a real person. I'm not always on Facebook trying to sell them a product or trying to get them into my network marketing company. Right. Remember that. So, you know, this ATM challenge also has you doing live videos every day, you know, and if you're not using live videos, jump on it get on it. And it doesn't mean that you have to get on there and sell Shakeology. Get on there really quick and share your life, share what's happening in your home. Um, you know, share, uh, just, just share your life and, and it attracts people to you. And then on the back end, you can go in and say, Hey, thanks for commenting. Like I said, Hey, thanks for um, showing excitement for Prince starting kindergarten. How have you been? And I leave it at that. And then I go a couple more weeks and I'll follow up with them saying, oh, I saw a post on Facebook. You're, you know, your family is so beautiful. It's a couple conversations. And honestly, it's only about three until you can finally go in and invite or add tag message. So instead of, you know, going in right away there, obviously that's going to be icky and they're going to want to push off from you. You're going to come across salesy. Don't do that. Be patient. Take, you know, take about three more conversations. I swear it's about three and then you can add them and then you can invite them. Does that make sense? Cool. Okay. I hope that helped, Julia. <laughs> no, I just know like with new coaches, that's something that they kind of go like, oh, I don't want to invite. They're fearful. And it's like, they really need to understand that it's, you're built, you're actually building that relationship first. Yes. Um, and not just going from, you know, like she made it sound like in the, she's starting from that list. She's putting people on the list and then inviting them right from her list, um, like her first list to the second list. But there's actually like relationship building that's yes. going on from the first and having conversations. Absolutely. And that's all, that's all network marketing is, is relationship building. And it's the same in sales, the real estate, when we're selling, we'll sell houses. In fact, I use this system to sell houses <laughs> to build my list. No joke. Um, it's building those relationships. If you can build a relationship with anybody and connect with them, they're going to want to do business. With you, right. So that's where it starts guys. And it's just, the more you do it, the easier it gets, the easier those conversations come. And it's not like you have to have these full blown messages back and forth. It's not a paragraph. It's like two sentences, <laughs> right? You're just kind of getting your feet wet and getting to know each other like a blind date. <laughs> All right, loves. Um, so you guys can go in and just share today something that's going on with you and your results or a product that you're using in that real results group would be awesome. So we can keep that momentum going. Um, and then get your people in there because we've got Scotty hubs coming in on Monday, talking about the coaching opportunity and like how he's doing it as a data five and how he's just rocking it. So 
I have a question about the the video I posted today. Yes. I asked you on on I mean on the messenger. Should I share that on my on my timeline and in my groups? I have uh, I have some people already from my groups who have given me permission to add them to the real people, but um, I haven't really um, asked very many people on my regular timeline. So I'm just like. No. Was, so here's the thing for everybody that's on the schedule that's going live. Make sure that you're saving your live videos. I don't know if you knew that you could actually save them. So before you press post, save the video to your phone. So you have all of this because you can upload this to YouTube. You can use them for future whatever. Um, and if you are specifically talking to the real results group on there, then I would say just put those in your private groups because if you put it on your timeline, people might get a little confused because you're kind of talking to a group of people. Does that make sense, Leticia? Yeah. Um, yeah. But if you get on there and you're just it's not talking open in general about something, then yes, share that on your timeline. Because the more, um, you know, if we can cut out stuff and make things work faster, you don't have to do all these videos. If you can do one video and share it everywhere, that's what we want. Yeah. <laughs> so yes. Share it. Okay. All right. All right, honeys. I love you. Thanks for hopping on, Julia. I'm so excited that you're here. I love you. You can come in anytime. <laughs> All right, guys. I got to go pick up my daughter. So I love you. Um, if you guys have questions, just send me a message. And I have this on recording. So if you want to share it with your teams and coaches, I'll send it. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye, Bye honey. Bye, Jen. <laughs> Jen, you rock for getting that call. I think she just hopped off. <laughs> All right. Bye, Chris. Bye, Leticia. Bye-bye.